Discovery Việt Nam. Đội Sơn Pagoda, which literally translates to Pagoda on the Đội Mountain, is a cultural symbol of Hanam Province and a sacred place in the Red River Delta. It is one of the biggest Buddhist centers in northern Vietnam. Dubbed the most beautiful scenic spot in the Red River Delta, Đội Sơn Pagoda was built in the 11th century when Buddhism most flourished and was considered the national religion. In 987, King Lê Đại Hành tilted the field at a festival in Hanam Province to promote land reclamation and agriculture. This area is home to the meandering Chau River on its left and the magnificent Đội Mountain on its right, which, according to Feng Shui, resembles nine dragons looking toward the same direction. In 1054, King Lê Thanh Tông ordered to build the Đội Sơn Pagoda here. The original nine wells, which are considered the nine dragon eyes, have always filled with turquoise water until today. Phạm Xuân Thành, director of the Hanam Provincial Museum, said. Đội Sơn Pagoda was built from 1054 to 1058 under King Lý Thánh Tông's reign, but only became popular thanks to his successor King Lý Nhân Tông, who expanded the pagoda complex and ordered a grand pagoda and super erected a top Đội Marin to worship the Buddha. Shortly after its completion, the new Đội Sơn Pagoda became a major scenic spot and became involved the royal functions of the Lý feudal dynasty. The Đội Mountain side is steep, but the peak is flat. King Lý Nhân Tông chose the spot because he thought this place connected human beings with nature and had military and political strategic importance. The pagoda complex was destroyed 300 years later by the Chinese Ming invaders and restored in following dynasties. It underwent a major restoration in 1860 and was readily expanded to 125 halls four years later with a bell tower, a triumphal arch, a Buddhist statue, and stone and bronze decorations to become the biggest Buddhist center of northern Vietnam of the period. Đội Sơn Pagoda features the typical architecture of the Li Dynasty. Two large corridors connect the front and rear halls, which together form a square with an incense burner at its center. A 300-step staircase leads visitors from the foot of the mountain to the three-door entrance gate, and a large yard before reaching the houses dedicated to worshipping Buddhas and the Li kings. There are precious statues found in the houses of worship and along the two corridors, Cao Văn Thắng, a tourist from Hà Nội said. Tôi cũng đi rất nhiều chùa trong Nam ngoài Bắc, nhưng mà phải nói rằng ở đây có một cái chùa. I've visited numerous pagodas across Vietnam, but Đội Sơn is one of the most impressive thanks to its antiquity and embodiments of the Vietnamese culture. This is the first time I've have seen an epitaph dating from 1054, which has just been discovered and brought here. This place tells us about the Vietnam traditions. The pagoda honors ten master monks who preached Buddhism and inclined people toward the good according to Buddhist teachings. It hosts a festival from the 19th to the 21st day of the third lunar month to pay tribute to those who had made significant contributions to the country, such as Buddhist monk Thich Chiêu Thương, General Lý Thương Kiệt and King Lý Nhân Tông, Superior monk Thich Thanh Vũ, a board of Đội Sơn Pagoda told VOV. Chúng tôi thấy rằng đây là một cái lịch sử rất giá trị, văn hóa, Đội Sơn Pagoda and its festival honors the historical, cultural and economic achievements of the Li Dynasty, which have been preserved till this today. It teaches us valuable lessons of the sincerity and honesty. Đội Sơn Pagoda was recognized as a national special relic site in December 2017.